Ah, regulation, yes, otherwise known as red tape, <laughs> yes. Weight often has the very laudable aim of improving things. You try to make business behave in what you regard as a more responsible way and to provide all kinds of benefits and conditions for their workforce. But there is a downside. The downside is that when you put regulations on businesses and when you require them to give rights, you're making it more expensive for them to employ labour. And the fact is that if you're going to have businesses giving things like, you know, sick pay, holiday pay, maternity leave, paternity leave, Bob's your uncle leave, the problem is that this raises the costs of employing people. And that means fewer jobs will be created. So what it comes down to is a balancing act. It's a balancing act. You need some regulation, but you don't need so much regulation that it acts to stunt the business concerned destroying jobs. Now that means you do it sensibly. And the problem is with governments and civil service, very often they have very little experience of business. They have no idea. They pass their regulations in some vast council chamber. Oh, it's a nice thing if everyone had to do this. And then of course it utterly destroys the business concern because they haven't the slightest inkling of the effect their regulations are going to have. Uh, what governments really should do when they're regulating sensibly is to take account of the industry concern, to consult with them, bring them in and say, hey look, this is our objective, can you suggest ways in which this regulation could be achieved? Even then they face problems because business will often demand regulation which acts to keep out competition. Big businesses quite like regulations, they quite like the complexity. Why? because they can cope with it. They can employ vast armies of people to deal with regulations and compliance. Whereas new startup businesses, the ones who might give them a hard time competing with them, they can't afford that. People call this regulatory capture and it involves the industry getting into bed with the regulators and applying regulations in such a way that it discourages competitors entering the market. So you must avoid regulatory capture in which the businesses basically end up dictating the regulations to their own advantage. Successful economies use light regulation and they use regulation that shows some sympathy to the problems and costs faced by businesses and industries. Instead of imposing, you know, vast screeds of detailed clause by clause, line by line, they incorporate a certain amount of common sense and discretion. And he who regulates lightly regulates sensibly. Madsen Perry attempted to prove once again that economics is fun.